And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for you such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. For the love of God, try to stay on the road! Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you be there, Iago, or Cassio, me. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. Oh, we are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you form a few feats of wonder to amaze. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo. Grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyatch camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd.
of hurting, tired of being ah, sick. I it. was once too. <laughs> That's it. Gather round. I'm not Howdy. starting till everybody's here. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. He is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Try again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. Go home, Wes Dickens! Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Wes Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. You're more crooked than a snake in a cactus patch. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. What the battle commence? Who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, the power of the Now I'm There it is, skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get it. This ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Ah! Oh, Marvelous shot! 
dear boy. It's a kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Well, I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh. Howdy, mister. Why not? I like watching a man eat his work. Sorry, partner. If Murphy don't put his name to a gun he don't believe in, browse away. Howdy, mister. You surely won't regret a purchase. A fine transaction. That's good, thank you. Let's start. 
so glad to see you. They say Marshall Johnson's very stolen good. Jay Murphy's my name, synonymous with crafting. Now why walk when you can ride this? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help, me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Horses are over here! Take that low. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrite. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. 
I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. Me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Fly! Fly! Have you looked in the caves, then? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map that is. Let's go! What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money. But now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Whoa there. Whoa. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assassin. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Ain't seen a female worth looking at in days. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Mo 
Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! You ain't the damn law! Get away from me! Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! You just wait till I get loose, mister. We'll split it between us, just me and you. Come on! in that crazy bastard. He told you it's a lie. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never cut into a uh, live uh, one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. Moses? <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Hurry up. I need to go find that man. <laughs> This letter should do it. You better go straight now, like me. I'll be seeing you again. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. 